White Rim Road, a bucket list adventure. Most people will never get to experience Canyonlands National Park quite like this. Two years ago, while visiting Canyonlands, we stopped at White Rim Overlook and noticed from our vantage point, tiny vehicles driving along the rim's cliff edges. One day we vowed, we'll be back for you. This year, we finally made the two-day trek along the amazing White Rim Road. This trail is 100 miles long and circles around the island in the sky mesa. You will drive along cliff edges, past beautiful canyons carved out by the Colorado and Green Rivers, and every turn brings new jaw-dropping overlooks that you'll want to stop every five minutes to take pictures. Please enjoy as we've tried to capture the beauty of White Rim Road. To reach White Rim Road, we drove the fun and iconic Schaefer Trail, which is a 5.3 mile easy ride. This is one of our favorite trails to do because of the famous Schaefer switchbacks, which also provide breathtaking views of the surrounding canyonlands. About 17 miles along White Rim is a side trail called Lathrop Canyon, 
which is a four mile in and out trail that takes you down to the Colorado River. This is such an awesome trail that gives you the opportunity to drive down into this canyon with amazing rock walls and formations. There is a picnic area at the end and you can walk right down to the water. If you do White Rim, you must make time to run Lathrop Canyon.
This is Murphy Hogback. White Rim has so far been a fairly easy ride. This climb is not difficult, but adds some interest with a steep incline and cliff on one side. This topped off our journey for day one with our epic campsite at the top. Thanks for joining us for part one of our White Rim Road adventure. Stay tuned for part two.